The United States is a nation of immigrants. Many of the people who lived in the United States today left their homes in other countries to come to America. Those who are not immigrants themselves can probably point to ancestors who came to the United States as immigrants in early times. Some can point to a mother or father who immigrated to the United States. They might have a grandparent or great-grandparent who came to the United States as an immigrant. Others have to reach a little farther back in their family's history. The people who have lived in North America the longest are the Native Americans. Their ancestors are the first known people to live in what is now called the United States. They made their way from Asia into North America thousands of years ago. The Native Americans spread out across North and South America. Today, many Native American descendants live all across the United States. For many years, the people of Europe did not know that the Americas existed. Europe and the Americas were two separate worlds. The voyages of Christopher Columbus in 1492 changed that. After these voyages, Europeans began to settle in the Native American lands of North and South America. The earliest immigrants came from a handful of countries in Northern Europe. Many came from England and Scotland, but there were settlers from other countries as well. Some came from France and Spain. Others came from Germany and the Netherlands. They settled down and made their homes in the new land called America. Many of the early settlers who fought in the Revolutionary War could point to the ancestors from one of these six countries. Later, immigrants began, began to come to the United States from other countries in Europe. And later still, they began to arrive from many other parts of the world. Why do people become immigrants? Why do they leave countries where they were born? And why have so many been drawn to the United States? Usually, there's something that pushes immigrants out of their homeland, homelands. As usually, and usually there's something that pulls them to the United States. The pilgrims who came to New England in the 1600s felt both pushed out of their homeland and pulled to the United States, although it wasn't called the United States at the time. They were pushed to leave England because the English king would not allow them to practice their religion in the way that they seemed that seemed best to them. They were pulled to North America because they believed they would have religious freedom here. The Scottish people who came to America in the late 1700s also felt push and pull factors. Many of them were pushed off the land they farmed by the landowners who wanted to use the land to raise sheep. They were pulled to Amer the American colonies because in America they could get farmland of their own. Many of the Irish who came to the United States in the 1840s and 50s came because of the famine in Ireland. All across Ireland, potatoes went bad. They turned black and shriveled up. They were not good to eat, and many Irish starved. Many were pushed out of their homeland by the famine. The Irish heard that there were farms and jobs in the United States. These stories helped pull them to the United States. Many of the Chinese immigrants who came to the United States in the 1840s and 50s were pushed out of their homeland because they were poor. Some were pulled to the United States by the prospect or possibility of finding gold in the mountains of California. Others were drawn here by jobs building railroads. Most of the immigrants saw America as a land of opportunity. It was a place where separatists had the opportunity to practice their religion in their own way. It was a place where the Irish would have an opportunity to work on the railroad or work in their communities in other jobs. Many groups were able to own their land and provide, their, and provide for their families. Today, immigrants continue to come to the United States from all over the world, from countries such as Mexico, China, India, the Philippines, the Dominican Republic, Ethiopia, and Russia. Over a million immigrants arrive each year from these and many other countries. That is about three or 4,000 people every day. This read aloud will last about 15 minutes. By the time it's finished, 30 to 40 people will have immigrated to the United States. Today's immigrants no longer come to, into the United States through Ellis Island and Angel Island. Many immigrants today arrive by plane though some come by boat, by car, or on foot.
Many people leave their homelands because they are not able to live and work in safe and healthy conditions. Some people must leave their countries behind, countries because of problems in the government or the dangers of war. People all around the world continue to view the United States as a land of opportunity. They see the United States as a place where people can make a new start in life. They can get an education, find jobs and medical care, and create a new home for themselves and their families. They can contribute their skills and hard work to the communities in which they live. As in the past, new immigrants still face challenges or difficulties in their new country. Today's immigrants must still say goodbye to the loved ones in their homeland and make new friends in the United States. It takes time to become familiar with the new ways of living. The food, the language, the weather, the ways of getting around may be different. Sometimes immigrants can use help getting used to new life. It is still common for immigrants to settle in cities. Many immigrants move to places where others from their homeland have settled and can help the newcomers find jobs and a place to live. Here they can continue to share familiar customs and traditions even as they learn other ways of doing things in their new country. In this way, new and delicious foods are introduced. People can enjoy a variety of festivals and traditions from other countries. New forms of art and music become part of our communities. Workers bring new ideas and skills to their place of work. This is a nickel. Do you see the words on top of the nickel? They, see, they say e pluribus unum. That is a phrase from the Latin language. It means out of many, one. One of the most powerful ideas about the United States is that it is a country where people from many different countries join together and form one nation. From many, one. You can think of the United States as a mosaic of people from many different countries. The places where people come from is an important part of who they are. Each person brings interesting customs, new talents and ideas and hard work to that mosaic. Like the tiles of mosaic, each person contributes to making our nation from many one. There are many songs that celebrate the unity or oneness of the American people. One of them is This Land is Your Land by Woody Guthrie. You may know some of the words to this song. This land is your land, this land is my land, from California to the New York Island. From the Redwood, Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters, this land was made for you and me. California and the Redwood Forest are on the west coast. New York and the Gulf Stream waters are on the east coast. Most of America lies in between. Woody Guthrie was trying to say that the land belongs to all Americans. It's not just my country, it's also your country. Wherever you may live in the United States, and also wherever your ancestors may have come from. From the earliest Native Americans and those ancestors who came long ago from, our, from other countries such as Europe, Africa, and Asia, through history until today, people have come to the land that is now the United States for many reasons. Many people who live in the United States today are immigrants themselves. Others have parents or grandparents who are immigrants. Still others have ancestors whom they never knew who immigrated to, to America long ago. More than almost anywhere else on the planet Earth, the United States is a nation of immigrants and their descendants, a beautiful mosaic of people who have come to America from all over the world.